Let us pray. There is a time for everything and a season for every purpose under the heavens. This is a season of thankfulness, of gratitude for the accomplishments of this community of graduates, a community that has grown together over years of hard work and dedication. But as the beginning of one season also means the end of another, we lift our prayers of gratitude for the endurance needed to run this race and the culmination of this journey. We offer thanksgiving for all who accompanied these graduates along the way. We also pray especially today for the family of Carlos Bletz. As these graduates embark on a new journey, a new season, a new chapter, we ask favor upon the works of their hands, their heads, and their hearts. Amen. Good morning and welcome to this great convocation. I am Andrew G. Campbell, Dean of the Graduate School. It's my privilege to preside as we confer doctoral degrees of Brown University. I'd like to begin by saluting the candidates. Ascendant. This means please stand. Thank you. Today, we recognize your dedication and your achievements. I also welcome the parents, spouses, partners, and children of our graduating students to also stand. Please, stand. And finally, I want to recognize your faculty advisors and mentors. So will the faculty also please stand. Now I say we are so delighted to have you all join us today. Thank you. Please be seated. Now this is an exciting day for our graduates and their families. We want to make sure that this goes smoothly, so I ask that you all silence your phones now. Uh, the ceremony itself will be simulcasted on the Brown website, and the order of the program is available on the Graduate School Commencement site. I also want to remind you that photos uh, are critical in capturing those golden moments. Uh, grad images just outside. An outside firm is here to capture close-up moments of each graduates during the diploma and hooding. As a courtesy to others, we ask that you stay in your seats and take your own shots after the ceremony. Finally, there are hydration centers adjacent to the tent and near the arch. Next, I'd like to introduce the platform party. Uh, on your left, far left, is Mr. Sean Ferns, Director of Operations and Systems and Financial Aid, who will be assisting in conferring diplomas. Next, our Associate University Chaplain, the Reverend Kirsten C. Boswell Ford. <laughs> and Associate Dean Elizabeth Harrington of the Division of Biology and Medicine. <laughs> Next is Marlena Duncan, Associate Dean of Diversity Initiatives, who with Dean Harrington will hood the recipients. Beside her is Maria E. Suarez, Associate Dean of Student Support. <laughs> Next we have Guido W. Imbens, who received his PhD from Brown University in 1991, is this year's Horace Mann Medal recipient. Dr. Imbens, Dr. Imbens is Applied Econometrics Professor and Professor of Economics at Stanford University's Graduate School of Business. Thomas A. Lewis, 
Associate Dean of Academic Affairs at the Graduate School is next. Together, he and Dean Suarez will present the dissertation awards. Now, we're truly delighted to have Maria T. Zuber with us today. She is a member of, Bra of the Brown Board of Fellows, and she received a doctoral degree at Brown in 1986. Dr. Zuber will confer degrees on behalf of the university. Now, we turn to the student's choice. Our student speaker is Alexandra Volkening. Chosen by the Graduate Student Council to address today's graduates at this ceremony, she will today receive a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Applied Mathematics. She holds a Master's of Science degree from Brown University and a Bachelor of Science from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Her address is entitled Amplified. Thank you, Dean Campbell, Dr. Zuber, deans, faculty, staff, family and friends, and fellow graduates. It's a joy and an honor to celebrate with you today. And a special thank you to the Grad Student Council for the opportunity to speak today. Before I say anything else, I want to recognize that I don't think anyone can speak for the diversity of experiences and obstacles overcome by those in robes today. I know my experiences in applied math are going to be very different from the day-to-day -day of a social science student or even an engineer, maybe similar to a physicist. But despite our different fields and diverse PhD experiences, I think there are a few things that tie us all together. The first is hard work. It has been our immense hard work, sustained over many years, that has brought us here today. And for that persistence and diligence, we don't need anyone to speak. These robes speak for themselves. But it hasn't just been our work that has brought us to today. Graduates, let's take a moment to look around us at the other people in this tent. Our family, friends, our support network have been behind us throughout this degree and earlier. And kind of fittingly, they're behind us again today. And our mentors, our teachers, our advisors have been beside us. And there they are, beside us again today, or just an email away. So it has been our diligence and passion that has gotten us these PhD degrees today. But it has also been the camaraderie and support of our community that has helped bring us to today. So what has all this hard work gotten us? Because of this persistence, we have an opportunity and a privilege to be leaders. In this tent today, we have future leading research scientists, leading writers, philosophers, teachers. What this degree and this university, what all our hard work has given us is a special opportunity to have a voice, to be heard. So this is the soapbox portion of my speech, and I'm going to suggest we consider challenging ourselves to use that voice in a few different ways. And since this is a community that likes hard work, a challenge seems fitting. So first, we could commit to challenging ourselves to use our voice to talk about the difficult subjects, to put our voice behind those matters that are crucial but hard to talk about. So one subject I wanted to bring up is mental health. Mental health issues are incredibly prevalent in academia and also in our broader communities. Some studies report roughly 50% of their grad students or academics experiencing mental illness. Because many of us will go on to be future leaders and teachers, this is something that will likely impact our future students and coworkers. It is also something that has touched the Brown community very personally. We have lost students and postdocs to mental illness during our time here. We need to remember this and speak for that loss, 
to challenge ourselves to bring up mental illness. So it becomes less difficult to talk about and more acceptable to ask for help. To make it less prevalent and less destructive in our communities by putting our voice behind it. Another way we could consider challenging ourselves to use our voice is to amplify the voices of others, especially those that are underrepresented in the room. This was a tactic the female staffers and President Obama's White House used. The women there made a commitment to echo and acknowledge the voices of other women in the room. And if you've ever been fortunate enough to have someone else acknowledge your contribution by name, you know how good it feels to have someone else reaffirm your voice. Let's commit to doing this, to raising up and reaffirming others by amplifying their voice. And the final way I suggest we could consider challenging ourselves to use our voice is to step back and shut up. <laughs> I, so I've been fortunate to have a, a PhD advisor who's been a great source of advice, but he's also been a good listener. And maybe that's the hardest way we could challenge ourselves, is to emulate such mentors and choose when not to use our voice so that others have the opportunity to be heard. So I'm going to step off my soapbox now and talk about the most important thing that ties us all together today, and that's gratitude. So just briefly, my mom did not go to college, but today she's getting a PhD. And that PhD is me, right? So each of us here today in these robes is getting our degree. And this PhD belongs to us. But there have been many people behind us and beside us who've helped bring us to today. And this degree is also theirs. We have this special opportunity to have a voice because they have amplified us. So on behalf of the graduating class, to our mentors, our family, our friends, our community, we say thank you. But we also say congratulations, because you've been on this journey with us. It's been your hard work, too. And we are so happy to be sharing in this collective joy and celebrating this community accomplishment with you today. Thank you again, and congratulations. Thank you, Alexandria. We now turn to the Joukowsky Family Foundation Dissertation Prizes. These prizes are named for the Joukowsky family who have been so generous to the university. Uh, will members of the Joukowsky family please rise? They may be in transit. When they walk in, I will acknowledge them. Well, we certainly would like to thank them. And with these prizes, we recognize outstanding achievements in research by PhD recipients in the humanities and the life, social, and physical sciences. Recipients of the awards were nominated by their departments, and final selections were made by the Graduate Council, including faculty members and deans. It is my pleasure to introduce Dean Thomas A. Lewis and Dean Maria E. Suarez, who will confer the awards. Thank you, Dean Campbell. I'm honored to present these awards for outstanding scholarly achievement and will draw from nomination letters and abstracts to describe the many accomplishments of our recipients. The winner of the Joukowsky Dissertation Prize in the Humanities is Nicosia Michelle Shakes. <laughs> Nicosia is receiving her PhD in Africana Studies her dissertation employs the concepts Africana feminisms and activist aesthetics 
to analyze how the productions of two theater organizations transgress interlocking systems of gender, racial, sexual, and economic domination. Her work is entitled Africana Women's Theater as Activism, a study of Cistern Theater Collective Jamaica and the Mother Tongue Project South Africa. She draws on extensive ethnographic research in Kingston and Cape Town with a focus on two public performances that advocate for sexual and reproductive rights. She argues that Cistron and the mother tongue exemplify the inseparable links between theatrical performance and women's activism, as well as feminist theory and feminist practice in Africa, the African diaspora, and globally. Nicosia is the recipient of an Inter-American Foundation Fellowship. She also received the 2017 Marie J. Langloy Dissertation Prize in the area of feminist studies from the Pembroke Center for Teaching and Research on Women. And she has a book chapter forthcoming in Black Radical Thought, Pedagogy, and Praxis, edited by Hutton et al. Her achievements include a production of her play, Afiba and Her Daughters, at Rights and Reasons Theater at Brown. In August, she will begin her appointment as assistant professor in the Department of Africana Studies at the College of Worcester in Ohio. Congratulations, Nicosia. The Joukowsky Dissertation Award in the Life Sciences is awarded to Matthew Paul Hirakawa. <laughs> Matthew is receiving his PhD in pathobiology. His dissertation advances knowledge of the reproduction of a pathogen that causes fungal infections in humans. The work, entitled Intraspecies Variation and Parasexual Reproduction in Candida albicans shows how the species adapts and suggests the importance of considering natural variation and sexual reproduction when assessing the potential for disease and drug resistance. The author or co-author of 10 research articles, Matthew had a chapter of his dissertation published in the journal Genome Research. He has presented his research at the Gordon Conference on Cellular and Molecular Fungal Biology and at the American Society for Microbiology Conference. Matthew's honors include fellowships such as the Ruth L. Kirstein NRSA for Individual Predoctoral Fellows from the National Institutes of Health and the Frederick Poole Gorham Predoctoral Fellowship. Congratulations, Matthew. The Joukowsky Dissertation Award in the Physical Sciences goes to Kenneth Brian Asher. <laughs> Kenneth is receiving his PhD in mathematics. The title of his work is Higher Dimensional Birational Geometry, Moduli and Arithmetic. The research is the fruit of a series of collaborations that resulted in diverse published papers ranging from generalizing foundational results for pairs and advances concerning moduli of elliptical surfaces. He is the author or co-author of eight papers in the five years, and his work has been published in algebra and number theory, as well as algebraic geometry. Kenneth has accepted a National Science Foundation postdoctoral appointment at MIT for the 2017-18 academic year. In fall 2018, he will move to Princeton, where he will be an instructor NSF postdoc. Congratulations, Kenneth. The Joukowsky Dissertation Award in the Social Sciences goes to Lisa Letzelou. <laughs> Lisa, 
Lisa is earning her PhD in history for a study that explores open monastic houses in early modern Italy. The dissertation is entitled, Negotiated Lives, Third Order Women Religious and Their Communities in 17th and 18th Century Italy. Her st study demonstrates that open monastic houses were not eradicated by Roman Catholic decrees in early modern Italy, as previously thought. Instead, these houses offered women a respectable way of life outside marriage or the enclosed convent. The study further establishes that the women residing in such open monastic houses provided education, care, and companionship to lay women and actively contributed to the social and economic life of their local communities. This study is based on research in a dozen civic and ecclesiastical archives across north central Italy. Through extensive work with previously unexplored records and close attention to secondary literature, she reconstructs the past to illuminate the lives and activities of early modern women. To date, she has published peer-reviewed articles in the Historical Journal and Women's History Review, and currently has two further articles under review. Congratulations, Lisa. Thank you, Dean Campbell. It is a privilege to recognize these outstanding young scholars. Thank you very much, Dean Lewis and Dean Suarez. And again, thank you to the Joukowsky family for their generosity. Now, uh, to the recipients, I also want to add my own congratulations for your outstanding contributions uh, to scholarship. Now, we turn to the Horace Mann Medal. This year, this award was established in 2003 and is given annually to a Brown Graduate School alumnus or alumna who has made significant contributions in his or her field inside or outside of academia. It is with great pleasure that I call this year's Horace Mann Award recipient, Guido W. Imbens, to the podium to receive his honor. Dr. Imbens received his PhD in economics in 1991, coming to Brown with a Master's of Science in Economics and Econometrics with distinction from the University of Hull in the United Kingdom. He had earlier studied econometrics in the Netherlands at the Erasmus University, Rotterdam. He went on to hold tenured teaching positions at Harvard University, UCLA, and UC Berkeley. In 2012, he moved to Stanford University, where he is the Applied Econometrics Professor and Professor of Economics at the Graduate School of Business. He is also Professor of Economics at the School of Humanities and Sciences and a Senior Fellow at the Stanford Institute for Economic Policy Research. Drawing from nomination letters from the Department of Economics and colleagues at other leading universities, we we're able to see the impact of his teaching and his research, which, as one nominator put it, is marked by a balance of rigor and practicality, which enables the study of policies promoting social justice and economic prosperity. This influential econometrician is known for his widely cited research on developing methods for drawing causal inferences in observational studies using matching instrumental variables and regression discontinuity designs. This research has laid the methodological groundwork for empirical studies in economics and other social sciences. Peers say his prodigious, prodigious scholarship has elevated the quality of research in economics, statistics, and biomedical sciences, influencing how clinical trials are analyzed, for example. His applied work often focuses on the behavior of individuals from disadvantaged workers randomly assigned to job training tasks to winners of the Massachusetts State Lottery. As a trainer, his impact is extensive. Through his methods lecture at the National Bureau of Economic Research, Dr. Rembins has trained a whole cohort of applied economists in modern methods for estimation and inference. He also has taught many economists about developments in machine learning. This honor is not his first, of course. 
He is a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and a fellow of the Econometric Society, received an honorary doctorate in Switzerland from the University of St. Gallen, and is a foreign member of the Royal Dutch Academy of Sciences. Today, it is my distinct pleasure to acknowledge the contributions of Dr. Rimbins with this, the 2017 Horace Mann Medal. Thank you, Dr. Rimmons. I now turn the podium over to Benjamin A. Fancy, the treasurer of the Graduate Student Council, who will present this year's Wilson Dubois Award. The recipient of the 2017 Wilson Dubois Award is Dr. Shante Dalalu. The Graduate Student Council recognizes her unwavering support of and commitment to graduate students at Brown University. As the Assistant Provost for Global Engagement, Shante has gone above and beyond the call of duty to serve international graduate students throughout her time at Brown. As a commendable advocate and mentor for graduate students, Shante has shown extraordinary character and incredible dedication to the international community. Shante has continually devoted herself to addressing international student issues ranging from immigration and taxes to academic life and cultural transition. She exemplifies the ideal relationship between graduate students and administrators. All administrators have an impact on the graduate experience and we appreciate all that Shante and her colleagues across campus have done on behalf of graduate students. Thank you, Benjamin. Now, we're about to confer degrees. Uh, what I would like to do, however, is to uh, acknowledge the Joukowsky family uh, for their support of the Joukowsky Dissertation Prizes. Uh, the Joukowskys have arised. I'll ask Artemis to remain standing, and I'll ask Martha to rise, if the Joukowsky family could just stand for a moment so that we all acknowledge your contributions. Thank you, thank you. We now turn to the conferral of degrees and I call Dr. Zuber to the podium. Soki E. Anirande. Ominous quoas ad gradum in philosophia, doctoris, Idaneus, Comparimus, Wobus, Present Thomas, et eos, ad hunc, gradum, promovere, liceat, rogamus, candidati ad gradum in philosophia doctoris ascendant. Please be seated. Please be seated. Thank you. I now have the honor to present the recipients of the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Brown University. It's that time. Now, the first to be awarded today is a posthumous degree. 
This year, we lost a doctoral student on the cusp of his dissertation defense in engineering. To honor the academic accomplishments he has already made, Brown University will posthumously award the Doctor of Philosophy degree to Carlos Mauricio Blett. Accepting the degree is his brother, Gerardo Blett. Andrea Camille Actis. I do want to note for some of you who will be hooded, you may want to remove your hat. It may make it easier. <laughs> Maya Almarez. Guillermo Jose Alves Temperan. <laughs> Kenneth Brian Asher. Benedetta Assetta. Christopher Michael Baker. Horace Donald Ballard, Jr. <laughs> Matthew Allen Beach. Francesca Lynn Bodwin.
Bethany Marie Byron. Matthew Aaron Booker. <laughs> Isal Ken Botaeva. Stephanie Nicole Quintana Boucher. <laughs> Samantha Claudia Bova. Carlo Campagnoli. <laughs> Kevin Michael Cannon. Lianca Carlisi. <laughs> Rafael Castillo Bijarano. Xiao Shuang Chen. <laughs> Su He Chu. Patrick Chung. <laughs> Maria Veronica Chuckanel.
Chelsea Ann Cormier McSwiggin. Stephen Wood Christian. <laughs> Ronald Tarek Daly. William Carl Daniels. <laughs> Elise Michelle de Carteret. Gupil Dave. <laughs> Terry Ronald Dial. Paula Strickland Sar Diaz. <laughs> and Queen Don. James Andrew Dufton. Christopher Michael Elias. Bahar or R. <laughs> Timothy Eric. Daniel Javier Escudero. <laughs> J. 
Jonathan Bartholomew Estrada. Kathleen Amy Fitzpatrick. <laughs> David Christian Fossum. Tara Frescas. <laughs> Nicholas Friesner. David Glick. <laughs> Christian Glusa. Connor Casey Gramazio. <laughs> Christopher James Graves. Chan Young Ku. Sandra Haley. Noah Hammond. <laughs> Hyo Jin Han. Thomas Harrington.
Vivian Olsulski Healy. Wanda Sandville Henry. <laughs> Matthew Paul Hirakawa. Matthew Hodgetts. <laughs> Justina Huang. Takahiro Ito. Fred V. Jackson. Tracy L. Jackson. <laughs> Eric Jason James. Ishwa Kio. <laughs> Brian Christopher Jones. James Charles Joy. <laughs> Alexander Kalinin. Pelham Kelmendi. <laughs> Sarthuk Kunal.
Virginia Irini Kilikian. Jung Bin Kim. Peter Kim. Samantha Linda Kingsley. <laughs> Joanna Corman. Nicholas Ryan Labriola. <laughs> Catherine Marie Larson. Wang Nat Lei. <laughs> Sing Jun Lee. Please, let's Zalu. <laughs> Ki Juan Lee. Shui Li. <laughs> Shaw Chen Lin. Michael Ian Litwack. <laughs> Dan Liu.
See you, Liu. William Michael Longo. <laughs> Natalie Ava Luzinski Veach. Philip Sheku Lukule. <laughs> Catherine McKay Gloria. Dominic Machado. <laughs> Marie Machado. Abby Madeline McGuire. <laughs> Zaixing Mao. Patel Desai Marble. <laughs> Michelle Marie Marcus. Mark Thomas Mays. <laughs> Catherine Colleen McBride. Megan Catherine McBride. John Patrick McHugh.
Patrick Timothy McKelvey. Jamie Lynn McPike. <laughs> Brianna Lynn Medeiros. Petroslava Petkova Milishevo. <laughs> Daniel Alejandro Moreno. Isadora Mara Mota. <laughs> Maruti Narayanan. Andrea Francis Nate. Ariel Nicole Price Schlitz Knightenson. Patrick Jonathan O'Hearn. <laughs> Rana Noor Ozdeslik. Caroline Park. <laughs> Chelsea Lauren Parker. Aitor Pellegrina.
Bruno Pentillado Natividad Moreto. Tone Chin. Anna McRae, Quay de la Valle. Aurora Alejandra Ramirez Alvarez. Ayalu Reda. <laughs> Nikolai Riaboff. Jessica Pauline Reuthaus. <laughs> Daniel Rubenstein. Senhan Sagar. <laughs> Laura Natalie Shara. Nicosia Michelle Shakes. <laughs> Rahul Ratna Shakya. Jay Chef. <laughs> Vitali Ivanovich Simankov. Joel Peter Simundich. <laughs> 
Sanjay Raj Singh. Kelly Branham Smith. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Spira. Ruben Heim Spitz Steinberg. <laughs> Sonia Clara Stojanovic. Vivian Sun. Michael James Sozienska. On K Tai <laughs> Rahila Tarfa. Marcelo Martins. <laughs> My Tiran. Megan Marie Turnbull. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Urban. John Michael Urban. <laughs> Nadialka Valkov.
Alexandria Volkening. Wei Yin Wang. <laughs> Marguerite Tario. Seth Barry Water. <laughs> David Kutai Weiss. Itzi Xiao. <laughs> Leanne Zhang. Chen in. Oh. Hong Jiang. Horn Yi Zhang. <laughs> Lin Zhang. Penzan. <laughs> In Jia Jang. Yi Zhao. <laughs> Philip Thomas Zucker. And Andrew R. Zulo.
I wish to report that 54 students have completed their degree requirements and have permission to receive their degrees in abstention. Will all doctoral degree candidates please rise? Videte, Igatur ut probe integrique in emolemesis re publicae et in dei honorum ut decet eos hoc grata honoradatos vos geratus. Sedete, doctoris in philosophia. And congratulations to all of you for, in receiving your Doctor of Philosophy today. Yes, congratulations to all of you. I'd like to thank Dr. Maria Zuber, my fellow deans, and the terrific staff of the Graduate School to help make this such a successful event. As you go out into the world to serve in the words of Brown's charter with usefulness and reputation, as postdoctoral fellows to work in government, the private sector, nonprofit organizations, and as faculty in colleges and universities around the world, I ask that you remain connected to Brown as loyal alumni. You are now and will remain an integral part of this university and its tradition. I now proclaim octoritata mi commissa declaro ceremonia terminata. Congratulations, the doctoral ceremony has concluded and only the singing of the benediction remains. Afterwards, we ask graduates, families, and guests to stay where they are until the platform party and faculty have left the tent. Interested graduates are invited to the university's ceremony, which begins at 1.15 on the main green. There are seats reserved for you there in section five. Graduates will, ex will exit by section and row as directed by staff. Thank you. I invite Reverend Boswell Ford back to the podium. My prayer as you go forward from this moment into a new season is taken from the prophet Jeremiah in Hebrew scriptures, that you may be like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. May you be strong in your convictions and your commitment to that which is better than we are. May you be rooted in honesty and love for yourself and others. May you be calm in the midst of both storm and drought. And may you be fruitful as you continue on life's journey. You are well prepared for the road ahead. Amen.